these two 330 watt panels uh, to power the lithium batteries for cooking and the hot water. Walk to the front of the boat. We've got some Panasonic 250s we've put in because there's space to get the panels in. So we've got a thousand watts of solar there. That runs the three kilowatt inverter, which powers all the 12 volt and 240 electrics on the uh, on Bruce's houseboat. Hi, this is Bruce. I'm a customer on the houseboat on the Thames. Um, Bruce came to me um, with a problem to solve. I'll let Bruce tell you what we did. Okay, hi. Um, our problem was that we wanted um, a, a canal boat, but to run it as a, a domestic um, site with two 40 volt um, items such as the induction hob. Now uh, we got a full 240 volt fridge, the same with the oven. Uh, unfortunately, in the barge world, no one seemed interested in solving this problem until we um, found Lee. And Lee has um, solved the problem in an amazing way. You can see everything's been uh, installed. We now have a 10 kilowatt uh, inverter that runs the inversion, uh, the, the hob, the oven, and uh, our hot water system, as well as uh, another system that runs all the ring main. It, it, it's worked brilliantly. As I say, no one said we could do it. We can now go off and wander up the Thames, not having to uh, have any um, shore power and everything should work. Uh, we hope that anyway. Okay, so yeah, great job. Thanks, Lee. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Bruce. You've been an absolute star of a customer. Thank you. Hi, Lee Naylor, off-grid installer. Here we are doing another system in Surrey. Um, have an installed 10 kilowatt inverter, which you'll see shortly, uh, later on in the video. Here I am in an engine bay on a houseboat on the River Thames. Uh, having just installed underneath here uh, a massive bank of lithium ion phosphate batteries. There's the plug socket for the electric tube heater. As we've mentioned in previous other videos, that's actually on the side of the battery box, feeding hot air in. On the other side, we can see a, uh, this was the lead acid bank I put in, six volt uh, pure lead carbon batteries, uh, which is to power the three kilowatt inverter. 10 kilowatt inverter installed in the cupboard. Rather difficult to get in. Um, there's your servo controller, uh, MPPT controller, there's another one. We've actually got two separate power systems on this boat. There's one that was installed just so my customer could have, uh, uses electric oven and electric um, induction hobs. And also we've wired the uh, immersion heater into the new lithium bank. This is the touchscreen color controller. This obviously shows you um, AC loads, what the solar's charging, the battery's at 100%, so there's probably more power available on the panels at the moment. Um, and we also installed a second battery and um, solar system uh, to power his main leisure batteries, where there is a three kilowatt inverter underneath this step. Um, that's a Victron Energy battery shunt. That monitors all the power going in and out of uh, the lead acid batteries.